Hey Leo, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to be doing a special and bonus reading and the question is, are they over you? Have they moved on from you? So just as disclaimer, this reading is not going to resonate for each and every one of you. It is only intended for those that need insights and guidance regarding an ex, ex-friend, somebody that you had falling out, even somebody that recently ghosted you. The messages here may also be vice versa, especially for cross-watchers. Please keep in mind that the power is yours to make your decisions at the end of the day, and I'm only the messenger here. I have no power whatsoever over the cards. Trust your intuition and take the messages with a grain of salt. Thank you so much for your support, Leo, and without further ado, let's begin. This is for Leo and the person that they're currently dealing with. Have they moved on from Leo? Are they over Leo? What does Leo need to know at this time, please, Spirit? All right, let's see, bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles energy. Typically when this card shows up in a reading, it can mean that somebody feels left out in the cold. Somebody feels extremely isolated. They also feel a little bit lost, not knowing what the next course of action. I also am getting that your person is currently struggling with something financially or health-wise. Five is a rolling number, it's not gonna be a permanent energy. I also am getting that they need to reach out. They need to identify their support system in their life. I see that somebody here is not taking action, but they're also dwelling on the stressful mindset of, um, I want to be alone, or I don't have any support system in my life. I feel left out in the cold. Let's see. We're going to open more cards out. Is this person over Leo? So we have the King of Swords. Now, for some of you, it is this person that may have also left you out in the cold. But for some reason, the cards are showing they're the ones that feel left out in the cold. I see some projection over here, Leo. You could be dealing with an older air sign. All right. Typically, the King of Swords energy is somebody very logical, very rational. But when it comes to emotions, they don't always show emotions. In fact, this may also appear as somebody very detached, very quiet, very dispassionate, but it doesn't mean they don't have emotions. They would rather dw dwell on um, these emotions on their own or deal with these emo emotions on their own. Now, for some of you, I also am getting that it is this person who's really choosing to isolate themselves. I keep getting that. But let's open more cards out here. We have the Seven of Wands energy. So the combination of these cards are telling me that this person is trying to be strong at the moment. Also, I feel like they're putting up some walls here, Leo. But it doesn't necessarily reflect how they feel within with the Five of Pentacles. They may appear strong on the outside. Just look at the cards over here. But there is a sense of sinking into a feeling of loneliness, retreating into their own world. All of the sensations and feelings could be over-empowering your person. They may also feel a little bit hopeless at the moment. Let's see why that is, okay? I also feel like they are alienating you or they are alienating themselves. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are connecting with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. There is a sense of melancholy with this person. All right. I feel like they just have developed this ability of hiding their real feelings. I don't even know if you call this an ability or a defense mechanism. The Seven of Wands can be seen as somebody who can be quite defensive. It could be their defense mechanism to isolate themselves, withdraw, pull back, or leave you out in the cold. For some of you, there could also be a sense of unfinished business. 
all right like your person all of a sudden stopped communicating with you and refused to reach out with the seven of wands let's see we have the hangman so yes i feel like they're also in this state of contemplation introspection but there's no action being taken just yet I feel like this person will take action once that there's enlightenment under given situation, under feelings and their emotions. But the thing is, with the combination of these cards, the answer dwells on their heart, not in the mind. King of Swords can be quite logical, sticking into the facts. For some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who's really struggling to connect with their spiritual side. Very practical, very logical approach. They're not tapping into their spirituality at the moment. They're blocking it. They're not listening to their intuition at this time. I also am getting that this person struggles making connections with others. But yeah, I feel like they need to make some type of change because the hangman can also mean making a sacrifice, needing to let something go. Could be their defenses or this mindset of isolating themselves. There could also be aggressive energy here. They need to let it go, make some type of sacrifice in order to flow, open up to change. Otherwise, they may continue to dwell in this limbo state. We have the Five of Cups energy. All right. So yeah, so I feel like how they are on the outside, Leo, does not necessarily mirror their feelings and their emotions within. And with the Five of Cups energy, this can mean crying over spilled milk. This can also mean that somebody really feels, you know, sadness, loneliness, even disappointment. I feel like for some of you, this person alienated themselves from you because there was something that they were not agreeing with you. You both may have not seen eye to eye. They may have alienated you or those around you that don't seem to get their point of view. They need to connect with the heart here with Five of Cups in order to break out of this stagnant pattern or routine, you know? How can they also work with their shadow thoughts in order to illuminate the root of why they have to isolate themselves? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So something is going around in circle here, Leo. For some of you, indeed, there's unfinished business. The, the Wheel of Fortune can also mean change. So things can change for the better, but they need to open up to change. I mean, look at this image over here. It's like somebody is wrapping themselves with a cloth, a thick and dense energy surrounding this person making it harder for them to move around or move this energy around, shift their overall um, perception on things. So I feel like they really need to reconnect with their spirituality first. Uh, something is blocking this person's heart chakra. I'm really seeing that. They can't let something go. This could also be fueled by pride and ego at the moment. All right. There might have been a big conflict or fight with you and this person, Leo, or some type of misunderstanding. So they alienated themselves because they feel like you don't get their point of view. They can get pretty aggressive with the Seven of Wands, even extreme to the point of cutting communication, leaving you out in the cold. Making you feel like, is this something that was your doing? It, was it something you said? Was it something you've done? Somebody here got a little bit defensive as well. Is this person over Leo? Let's pull more cards out here. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords. This makes a lot of sense. By the way, there's 555 five, five in your reading. So I feel like there was indeed a separation and ending, but something hasn't been cleared. The manner on which as well you both have walked away from one another, I feel like there wasn't healing or there was no closure. I also am getting that this person cut the communication with you quite abruptly. 
But here with Wheel of Fortune and Five of Cups, I'm getting a strong sense of deep regret. I also am getting that over time, see there's the element of the hourglass here, time. Over time, your person is going to see things in a different angle and perspective with Wheel of Fortune. Because initially, I feel like with Five of Swords, they were just seeing this under point of view. All right? There was impulsivity. They had to cut the connection out because they felt like you didn't understand their point of view. But here with the Wheel of Fortune and Five of Cups, over time, all right, or so much time has passed, I'm seeing that they're now seeing the situation on both sides, a bigger picture. No longer zooming in to just their point of view. Sometimes when we're facing conflict, we tend to take on the side that we resonate but not seeing both sides, but the true nature of scales or of empathy is being able to put our shoes on the other person's shoes and try to see their point of view. And that's what I'm seeing here. For some of you, you were dealing with somebody that can be very argumentative. I mean, they try to look too much into the facts and not really connect emotionally. And I feel like that's where the disconnection came from. But with Wheel of Fortune, there's a sense of unfinished business. Um, there could still be some defensive energy here blocking this reconciliation to happen. They refuse to reach out first, you know? But I'm seeing that there is an ongoing enlightenment. Your person is in the process of awakening enlightenment. It is up to them to realize this, to gain the lesson. Wheel of Fortune can mean there's a possibility for change or change in perspective. All right. See, with the Five of Cups, there might even be regret for how they were uh, very defensive or pushed you away, cut communication abruptly. I don't feel like this person is over you, Leo, but they also need to let this go, this Five of Swords, because this can be seen as um, a very immature energy. Somebody was lashing out, somebody... You know, when somebody gets hurt, they also tend to hurt others. When somebody isn't fully healed, they tend to pass that hurt onto others. So they need to release any shadowed energies, purge this out of their system in order to connect with their intuition, with their higher self. Holding on to these emotions, low vibrational energy is only preventing them from reaching their higher self, all right? Is this person over Leo? We have self-worth. So I feel like for a lot of you, you had to walk away from this person because you felt like you didn't really receive the respect that you wanted here, Leo, or that you deserve. There might have been some harsh words that were said, especially with Five of Swords energy. Now for some of you, I'm also getting that with Five of Cups, they deeply regret um, pushing you away from their life if they're already with somebody else right now, Leo. They realize your true worth with self-worth here. Let's see. Is this person over Leo? We have abundance card. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you realize your true worth you are not somebody that will chase anybody, beg anybody to stay, to love them. All right. You feel like this King of Swords had also some type of pride getting in the way. Now, the combination of these cards is also telling me that your person is realizing they should not have taken you for granted or take precious moments for granted because you'll never know how times can change. You know, at a snap of a finger, everything can change. And that's what actually happened here. They realize what they had with you. It could be a little bit too late, Leo. They didn't really um, see what was in front of them when they had it. They were ov overlooking it, you know. Yeah, renewal card. Renewal card means that there will be um, awareness different perception, or somebody is changing, having a change of consciousness, change of mindset, change of heart. For some of you, the renewal card may also mean that you are on your way towards a new beginning here, Leo. With the Wheel of Fortune, there's been massive change. Something is working into your favor. 
There could be good money coming in or some of you are cycling up. Walking away from this connection, you're able to cycle up. All right, something just magically worked in your favor here, Leo. Some of you, it's career. Some of you, it's finances. Some of you, it's overall health. When you focused on yourself here, you were able to really um, focus on what you want to manifest and attract in your life. And I feel like you being in this energy right now of so much power, autonomy, and leadership in your own life, this person is seeing you in a different way. Because that's what happens when you take your power back from a situation, Leo, and you refuse to chase or beg or anything like that. Choose to cycle, cycle up and transform your life for the better. This person is now seeing you in a different way. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the insecurity card. There might have also been some deeply rooted insecurities. For some of you, this may not resonate for all. That wasn't allowing this person to connect from the heart. Now, remember what I said earlier here where somebody now feels left out in the cold? It could be now that you're climbing up the ladder, moving forward with your life, living your best life, or following up on your healing process, wherever you are at right now in your life. I see that this person is affected by this. They're the ones feeling left out in the cold when they were initially the ones that left you out in the cold. We have here a victim card, so just be cautious. There could be a victim consciousness. Again, with the Five of um, Pentacles energy and the Five of Swords. So dwelling on this stressful mindset of them thinking that they were the victim. This can also mean that they think you know, with Wheel of Fortune, something not working out to their favor. They feel like universe is doing this to them. But it could be that they need to realize the choices that they've made that also contributed to the outcome. Because it's not fair to blame it all on destiny and faith in universe because we all have our own free will. And that's why there's a realiza realization here of, I wish I did not take that opportunity for granted or take precious moment for granted. Let's see, is this person over, Leo? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. And that's the thing, this person needs to connect with their heart, with their intuition, their spirituality. The mind can play all sorts of tricks with this person, even seeing themselves as a victim here. For some of you, this person could also be in the disguise of you know, them knowing their real worth that didn't really allow them to connect to other people. They were not letting anybody in. You know, they feel like they, they look at themselves in a, such a high position, you know, too much putting themselves in a pedestal that they feel nobody can match their energy. But then the moment that you work on yourself and you focus on yourself here, they fall as the victim. It's a very interesting energy that I'm picking up from this person, Leo. And I know these messages are very sort of specific, but I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. There's also a gossip card here at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be, for some of you, since the Five of Swords can also mean gossip here, somebody could be gossiping about your success now, Leo. All right, they feel insecure about how far you've, you've come, all the success accomplishment that you have, they talk about you with other people. They could also be trying to turn the tables and say that you are the one who left them out in the cold, but you refuse to be their victim here, and you know your real worth. For some of you, you also feel like the truth will eventually come towards the light. You know, So that's what I'm seeing for your reading, Leo. I hope that this gave you some insights and guidance. Thank you all for watching till the end. Take care at this time. Stay healthy and namaste.